Hey guys, Dan Jim here. It's time for some comic book, comic book reviews this week, so let's go ahead and get started. I got a little story for you to tell you guys at the end, but uh, right now let's go ahead and get some uh, reviews started. Alright, honorable mentions this week. Uh, Nita Blake, A Laughing Corpse, number 5 of 5. Uh, just basically the end of the story arc with The Laughing Corpse. Um, pretty much the, the cover pretty much says it all. Um, Anita Blake at the end gets uh, attacked by zombies. Um, uh, the book was phenomenal, the uh, the art was great, and the story was done by um, Jessica Ruffner, and the art was done by Ron Lynn. So, uh, hats off to those guys, awesome stuff. Uh, Anita Blake, I'm going to pick up the next book, uh, which is book two of the same series. So, um, very, very good stuff, very good stuff. Also, honorable mention, uh, Deadpool number seven, as the Dark Rain tie-in. And this is done by Daniel Way and Paco Medina. Um, pretty much the end of the fight with Tiger Shark, and uh, we see some some of Bob Agent Hydra, which is always good fun. Um, what we're gonna see in the next book, it ties into the uh, Thunderbolts book, so Deadpool versus the Thunderbolts, which is gonna be awesome. I cannot wait for that. But I'm gonna also be also buying the Thunderbolts books along with the uh, the Deadpool book so um, just to you know have some continuity there and try to keep up what was going, what's going on with, with the Deadpool and Thunderbolt some of the way they're fighting each other stuff like that so I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for the um, waiting for that fight it's gonna be a good fight um, Ant-Man looks pretty cool I thought the, at the end he does look pretty cool so um, yeah very very good stuff very good stuff and plus hilarity Deadpool you can't, can't go wrong with it with hilarity and Deadpool. All right. Now you may notice in the beginning uh, I have a new theme with the comic book theme and stuff like that, the turning pages and all that stuff. That's part of the new iLife 09 suite that um, that I just purchased not too long ago. Um, now you may notice the graphics down uh, wherever I put the graphics. Um, they're nice and like comic booky and stuff like that. But uh, the downside is that I, I can't put like cover of the week, book of the week, beat down of the week. On those, so I'll, I'll, from now on, I'll just mention them, and um, um, you know, I'll put the title and the number, uh, the issue number on on that. So, um, so it's just you know, this is part of the new stuff. I'm experimenting still, so um, full. So I'll see what works. But first, uh, let me just say, um, Immortal Iron Fist number twenty-two gets beat down of the week because it was. It's just a. It's just a slugfest. It's, it's, it's sort of sad, to be honest with you. Um, Danny Rand, the Immortal Iron Fist, is part of this, you know, I guess he's part of this group, um, the Immortal Weapons, and, and they're, they're, we're sent on a mission to basically what, what is the equal to purgatory, I guess, um, to, go, to go save someone down there. And um, uh, they end up getting, you know, into tournaments non-stop, they're on non-stop continual uh, battle royale fights and, and stuff like that, which is so brutal, so so brutal, and it's very uh, very depressing to see to see that. But the story's good, great art, uh, good artwork. Um, the book was done by Dwayne Strinsky and Travel Foreman, so very good book. Um, you know, Iron, Iron Fist was part of the New Avengers, so. You know, and his book, and his book is really good. I'm really, really ex happy that I um, stuck by this um, series because it, it is a great series, it's a great book. So, beat down of the week, the Mortal Iron Fist number 22. Now, cover of the week um, is actually this cover of the week was actually purchased by accident, but um, but look, but the story is always good. Uh, Invincible Iron Man number 10, and the cover is the variant cover. Um, I Mistakenly got this this cover, but I'm really glad I did because I I really like uh, the the whole you know the Iron Man suit and all these wires coming out and he's pretty much on life support and stuff like that. Very cool stuff. And the book was done by Matt Fraction and Salvador La Roca. Uh, Matt Fraction co continues to hit the, uh, the stuff out of the ballpark with the Miss Iron Man stuff. Uh, very good book. Uh, Dark Rain tie-in, of course, because of Iron Man is basically the essential unit 
uh, the, one of the main reasons why Dark Crane started in the first place, so of course he's going to be uh, part of Dark Crane. Um, we also see some pretty cool stuff. Um, we get to see, um, you know, we get to see some stuff with uh, Maria Hill and their kind of relationship with Tony Stark. I was kind of blossoming into something else. And Pepper Potts. And I called it, I knew what was going to happen sooner or later. Pepper Potts has her own Iron Man suit. So it's going to be it's going to be good. It's going to be great. I can't wait to see what happens next. Um, Iron Man's out on the run. Um, and it looks like Pepper Potts is going to sort of take the place of the new Iron Man. So or Iron Woman, I should say, um, for, I guess, the next couple of couple books and maybe if, if things go, go, go good um, depending how fan support is she may get her own book so um, or if, if, if the big wigs at Marvel even let her um, it just depends we'll see how that goes but always always a good, good, good recover of the week very good but funny story how um, book of the week ended up it being I want you to say it first before I go into the story Agents of Atlas number one. Now, you may notice um, I don't I don't have any other books. I plan on getting uh, four more four other books this week. Um, Ultimate uh, Wolverine and Hulk number one reprint sold out. Uh, Secret Warriors number one sold out. Black Panther uh, number one sold out, and X Men Noir number three sold out. So all those books that I wanted, I couldn't get because they're all sold out. And it'll be another two weeks for some of the books, and it may be even longer for, uh, I think, The Secret Warriors. So, yeah. Um, and, and The Secret Warriors one might not happen. So, yeah, but, but just quickly, because I'm running out of time, Ages of Atlas, it's a great book. Art is fantastic. Um, this is done by Jeff Parker and Carlos Puagavin. I don't know, Puagian. I don't know, but but his artwork was fantastic in here. You basically get two stories in one. Um, it's, it's a great book. It has a, uh, has a uh, backstory with Wolverine in it. Uh, well, not a backstory, but it's sort of another alternate story with Wolverine in his early days. It's a Dark Rain tie-in, and it's going to be. It's, I'm telling you guys, pick up this book. It's, it, it shocked me. I didn't think I would like it. It was a, it was a great book. Also. Um, before I go, um, at the end of the Invisible Iron Man one, we get the um, uh, War of Kings um, preview to that. I am definitely picking up War of Kings. That looks very, very cool. Cosmic stuff, Shi'ar, Kree, uh, maybe Scroll, we'll see. But uh, and uh, Inhumans, all that good stuff. I can't wait for that stuff. But definitely Agents of Atlas number one, uh, book of the week. All right. Um, well, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the comic books. Uh, if you if you have read Secret Warriors, a Black Panther, uh, X Men Noir, and Ultimate Hulk number one uh, reprint, uh, let me know if you got them or not. Uh, don't give me any spoilers. Just let me know that you got them and if, you, if if they were good or not. So um, so I know what to kind of expect and, and uh, if I should get it or not. So. This is the end of the video. Make sure you write, comment, subscribe. Any hateful, spiteful comments, torn me and torn us will be deleted. So it's time, Jim, signing off. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.